today we're going to be learning how to find equivalent fractions using a model. And as we know, equivalent fractions means fractions that are equal. So let's look at the fraction 2 6. So I'm going to cut my bar in half and then I'm going to split it 3 and 3. So now I have 6 and I'm going to shade in 2 to make 2 6. So there's a couple strategies I could use. One is I could make my fraction pieces smaller by splitting up my original model. So what if I slice my model horizontally like that? Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4 that are shaded. You can see them here. So that tells me that 2 6 is equivalent to 4 twelfths. But I don't have to cut it in half that way. Oh, I don't have to cut it in half that way. What if I wanted to slice it in two ways? Notice I'm still always making equal fraction pieces. So now I have 18 pieces all together, and 6 are shaded in. So I know 6 eighteenths is equivalent to 2 6. Let's look at one more way we can work with 2 6. I want to make my 2 6 into bigger fraction pieces. If I'm looking at my picture, I think, what if I group each of my two six together into one bigger piece? Now I have one, two, three pieces, and one of those pieces is shaded in. So I know two six is equivalent to one third as well. And that's how you find equivalent fractions using a bar model.